Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mike Cameron. We're in for a nice day today. Yes, today is going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be a little bit cool, but at least there isn't the wind, there isn't the rain. We'll have sun. Temperatures will go in the 50s this afternoon. Uh, oh, one other negative is sunset's going to be earlier now. Uh, we've been talking about that because of daylight saving time. And make sure you check your clock and compare it to... You know, one of those clocks that are by computer uh, because daylight saving time meant that you had to put your clock back an hour. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast and you'll see that we do have a temperatures forecast today uh, to be in the 50s. We have partly to mostly sunny skies in the forecast for you too. So that'll be nice. Uh, a good day to go and take care of some of the leaves that might have been shredded off the trees from the wind and the rain of, of recent past um, because there won't be that much wind. So whatever work you do won't be undone for the most part today because of that lighter wind. Tomorrow, the rain comes back. It starts off cloudy but dry, and I think through noontime it does stay dry. Temperatures will reach to about 50 after a low of near 32 on Monday. But then the afternoon, the rain will come in. It could be heavy at times too, especially during the mid to late afternoon and especially along the shoreline. It will cut off Monday evening or Monday night, uh, but the clouds will linger on because the next system is going to be not too far behind. Uh, a warm front will have moved through uh, by Tuesday afternoon. It will be mainly cloudy. Any hint of sunshine should be meager, I think, tomorrow. Uh, but we still will see temperatures going into the 60s because of a pretty good southwesterly flow. So very mild on Election Day is what we're thinking right now. Then another swath of rain is going to come in Tuesday evening, Tuesday night. And once that carries on through, um, the skies will clear out again for Wednesday. It will be windy behind that system on Wednesday as the skies do clear. I think there's sort of a deferral on the cooler air that comes in behind that system too. So I think um, going into the, at least the late morning, early afternoon, we have a shot at low 60s before temperatures fall back into the 50s during the later afternoon on Wednesday. And then Thursday is all right. It's breezy, just partly sunny and temperatures in the 50s before yet another system comes in, gives us another shot for rain. And then it's swept away by some strong wind that comes in on Saturday as well. The air behind this system on Friday, though, looks to be a lot cooler. I've got 50 to 58, but that's probably early in time and temperatures will actually fall off during the course of Saturday. So uh, we're expecting to see more wintry weather, uh, perhaps with temperatures temperatures anyway, and I'm talking temperatures only as we look towards late Saturday and into next Sunday. A lot of clear sky out there now, though, here as we take a look at our satellite and radar. So this is good weather for us today. Uh, that weather I'm talking about for tomorrow is still out over the Great Lakes. The system moves to the east as it looks now, but then an area of low pressure will form along it to our south and help bump up the rain level as we go into tomorrow afternoon. So you'll see how that uh, all pans out with our future cast. Through noon today, you can see how it's going to be mainly sunny, and it's that way through 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But the shadows are long already at 3, and by 4.41, the sun will have set and by six o'clock it is really dark around here and it stays that way of course all the way through the overnight but at least it's clear to mainly clear through the overnight hours that will mean that it'll be a nice chilly start tomorrow there could be some frost but at the same time as the sun is rising tomorrow the clouds are coming in you can see it's mainly cloudy and dry through nine on monday even through noon i think it stays mainly cloudy but rain free between one and two across western Connecticut, two and three for the rest of the state, that's when the rain comes in tomorrow. And it could be heavy at times, and especially along the shoreline, that's where we're thinking that the highest amounts of rain might be favored. Uh, you can see it's still raining at seven o'clock, but it looks like by seven or eight, the back edge of this thing is already knocking on our door. So it's a quick shot of rain, uh, but it's, it's a healthy enough dose that some areas could see close to an inch of rain before it's done. And that's suggested by Futurecast. And it's also suggested that the southern part of the state will see the most rain this time around. And that's in your early warning. Actually, that's in your day ahead forecast. I've already done the seven day forecast. I always forget that. Um, but you can see here how time. it's the daylight <laughs> saving time effect. And I, that, that'll happen for the rest of my life. I'll just use that. Uh, temperatures will be running in the low to mid 50s inland today with lots of sun. And you can see our forecast along the shoreline is very similar. A beautiful day. But notice how by six o'clock it is dark as can be. Good